What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Daniel. Welcome back to UFC 2 Career Mode, Female Career. We just had a pretty crazy fight. Well, it was, well, it ended up pretty fast. I got her by submission, but she was a bit of a tough cookie. I could just feel it, you know? Anyway, I can't wait until I'm in the top 10. There's some good fighters in there that I can't, that I'd like to try and fight. I think it'd be really interesting. So, let's go ahead and view our next fight offer. Whoa, what happened there? I fight offer? <laughs> Raro, <laughs> the fight game short notice fight offer a fighter dropped out of an upcoming event and you've got offered a chance to take the spot it'll mean less ex training time but some positive exposure to fans will increase popularity well yeah we're gonna have to do it it's not like you could actually choose it so i get a short training session this time guys who's it up against raquel pennington i get the most fans out of her she's a 90 overall 91 stand 91 clinch and an 85 ground Sarah Kaufman. Haven't I fought Sarah Kaufman before? Maybe not. Um, Jennifer Roth. She's actually not a very good fighter, is she? Well, I want to I wanna see the challenge. She's a boxer, so if I take her to the ground... I mean, this girl is still a good fighter. I really got to boost my... I think I got to boost my ground then. Oh, I only get one. All right, then. I guess it's based on... Oh, shit, guys. We won't even get the stamina boost. I don't think we will. Hold on. Let me see. We worked the ground game. See, we won't even get it. We won't... Oh, that's that's lame. I forgot about that. Work the submission offense. That's always... A, you know, maybe I'll do that it, since it doesn't matter that much anyway. Just get this up. The choke submission is needs to go up, man. It's It's gotta. We still have a medium chance of getting injured, but we didn't get any. So now our joint submission's at 80, so that's like a arm bar or a uh, uh, or a uh, leg, you know, a leg thing. And then the choke submission. I use chokes a lot, though, so that's all I get to upgrade. So I'm kind of disappointed, but that's the idea. It's meant to be challenging. So we're going in. Ready to fight this? I hope you guys will enjoy. Main card fight, of course, against Pennington. Oh, God. I think it said Las Vegas, but I saw it at the last second. Oh, it said Anaheim. <laughs> well, goddamn, Billy Jack. I didn't even see that. Okay. Uh, so, we are cra we've we cracked the 80. So, we're 83, 80, and 81. That makes sense that we're in 82. So, anyway, let's get started, guys. I hope you'll enjoy it. Be sure to hit that like button if you do. Let's try and go for 500 on this guy. And let's take this win. Only one training sesh. This girl's this girl is ranked almost ten, well seven points or eight points taller or higher than me. So coming up next, it's a women's bantamweight matchup between Raquel Pennington and Razor. Pennington looks like no joke. Razor making her way out of the tunnel. She feels like she has all the tools to come away with a big victory tonight. This girl has ridiculously impressive lightning fast hand speed. It is one of her best qualities and one of the most terrifying things that you could face inside the octagon. When someone is faster than you, it is such a huge advantage. Razor is ready to go to battle in the octagon tonight. You know what's crazy? We haven't had a stand-up knockdown with her yet, I don't think. Right on cue. Very confident and ready to battle in the You octagon. suck ass. <laughs> you suck ass. This girl I'm just kidding. Outstanding hand speed. They, they never said what the what USA stood for. They never said that. <laughs> she gets out of the way before you can hit her back. She's one of the most difficult fighters to face in this division. All right, I feel like this girl is going to be a a big challenge. So I'm not taking her for granted whatsoever with that you suck ass chat I just did. That was just a joke. So let's go ahead and take. I'm ready. The Canadian is 22. The American is 29. Razor will have a one inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of nine wins, no losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 132 pounds. Fighting out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, Razor. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. 
Southside fighter, holding a professional record of 10 wins, 10 losses. She stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Raquel Rocky. And when the action begins, the referee is going to the octagon, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. All right, here we go, guys. Joe Rogan. We are set for the start of round It's going to be interesting. Let's go, girl. Let her swing for the fences. She's swinging for the fences. They're chanting USA right now. They must have heard what I said. Oh, jeez, block. Joe, the journey continues for this young I can't even hit her, she Jesus. Very impressive inside the octagon. But tonight, I haven't hit her once. Will be the most difficult test of her professional career. They're going after it quick here. Oh, that was money. That was money. Wow, that was a quick takedown. Puncher. There's a hard left shot hand. with the left. Oh! Vicious, What's up? What's going on? That's it. It's all oh my god! knockout here early what? in the first. Uh, I was not expect <laughs> I was not expecting that. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. She was not defending herself. Maybe Let's it's that ground. She has a good stand up cuz she's a boxer. Look at those lefts. Left left Great left left left. Here. Oh. Wow. That was, I think, the fastest fight I've had so far. With the official decision, Bruce Buffer. I, Ladies and okay. Referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Razor. Razor. Winner by knockout. That was actually really fast. I, they were, like, she had me in the beginning with those few strikes, but I took her down, and it was just done from there guys I'm not mad but I was I'm just a little surprised that I was able to beat her that that quickly I exposed the weakness ladies and gentlemen it's all about the weaknesses that should do us some good look at that big boost in popularity we just crossed it guys we just crossed it harder camp quality boost and increased injury chance Good thing we got most of our stuff where we needed it, hey? You know, in, in her picture there on the right there, look how baby face she looks. Like my character. All right, so a rather fast fight. So I'm in the, what was she? She was in like 16th place, so I must have taken her spot. So I'm getting closer to the top 10. Oh. I'm excited for this. Who are we going up against? Oh, Misha Tate. Oh, snap. Oh, man, this is good. Land a takedown from the clinch. At any point during the fight, get to full mount. Oh, dude, I can do those challenges. I think I can do those challenges. She's a 94 overall, so she's really good. Um, so I got to get in the clinch and land a takedown. Honestly, I, I can do that. And then get to full mount, that'll happen. And then just finish her on the ground. So I'll work on her. It doesn't matter how you finish her as long as it's on the ground. Most of my finishers have been on the ground anyway. That's Wunderbar. All right. Well, I have some experience. Oh, I got to wait a bit. This should be a good fight. Should be a good fight. Misha Tate fight challenge. It's our first one. I've been wanting to fight Misha Tate for a while. There's like a big list of uh, women's fighters that I really want to... Uh, real, that, that are I like... You know what? In the UFC, I really like watching like female fighters go at it. Because they're so ferocious. They're so quick. You know what I mean? They can go for a long time most of the time. But I love how the ferocity of it. I think it's amazing. But anyway. Um, I don't have any bonuses right now. I would like to upgrade my chin. Definitely. Get that at least a little bit higher. My joint defense. Maybe I should keep working the, the bottom drills. Even high. Yeah, see, see the boosts are harder to gain. 
Maybe I should just work the ground the whole time. Oh, I lost some body health, guys. That's butthole. Won't, won't I get it back? With this? I get some chin. No, I'm working towards the chin. Do I want to keep going with this? I think I want to keep going with this. This might... Yeah. Because then I'll get my body and my chin back in the neck. Oh, I'm going to have to, aren't I? No damage. Please, no whammies. All right. Still sit, ripping, repping the, the bottom health. So what we'll do then for the last one is I need that body health back up. And that'll bring me to a 60. So I'm going to work my submission offense, except go on the medium. It's... Ooh, actually, a hard one would do the deal. I just realized. Okay, well, then I'm going to have to do something. Maybe the top or off the back. Yeah, I'm going to have to if I want that stamina boost of 100. If the thing is, I want the body, so I might as well get it while I can, you know? No damage. Uh, joint submission's down, but my stamina is 100%. So I lost body health, but I have it back at a 60 now. Which is okay. It was. It would have been a 63. But my chin's also upgraded. So that's important, getting that chin up. So now we don't need any more stamina. It'll be a waste if we do that. But look at our off the back. That's all we upgraded was the back. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I'm excited for this, though. The Misha Tate. Is it a super fight challenge or just a fight challenge? It's in the main card. It... This should be good, man. Is this the only women's fight? No, no, no. Is it Kat Zingano? I, I'd like to fight Kat Zingano as well, though. Oh, wait. Where are we? Sorry. Where are we? All right. We're in Newark, New Jersey. We haven't been to Canada in a while. I've been repping those away trunks for a long time. So we've been working the ground. We only brought it up. We didn't bring it up at all. We did, well, that's because you got to diversify, I guess. Still, though, I'm ready. We're at 83 overall now. So we went up from an 82. Because it was an 82. Coming up next, it's a women's bantamweight matchup between Misha, Cupcake Tate, and Razor. <laughs> Misha, Cupcake Tate. Why not just call her Cup Tate? Razor, ready to go to battle and put on a show. This girl has amazing cardio and stamina. It is one of her best assets. She keeps a very fast pace, and you can literally see opponents start to wilt in the second and third round when they're being forced to try to keep up with her. Got that stamina, man. Probably my greatest one. Set to go to battle inside the or my greatest attribute. Easily. part of the first female UFC fight to ever take place in Japan when she defeated Rin Nakai. Misha Tate is the former Strikeforce Bantamweight champion and remains amongst the elite of the elite in the UFC's 135 pound women's division. Misha Tate back in the octagon here tonight in Newark, New Jersey. Our tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight battle. Razor is 22. Tate is 32. Razor is two inches taller. She will have a three-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 132 pounds, fighting out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, Razor! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a grappler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 10 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Misha Cupcake Tate! 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I find that adorable. It's got razor blades. I'm gonna put razor blades in your cupcake tonight. Dan Mergliata, our referee. For razor Ripley and Cupcake Tate. Here we go. Fight scheduled for three five minute rounds. That White was dumb. For razor. Black trunks for Tate. Jones Whoa! Continues for this young fighter. She's been very impressive inside the octagon. But tonight, undoubtedly, will Ooh, be did the I get her? difficult test of her professional career. Solid kick to the body by Razor. That was a nice job. Trying to get the take. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh, big slam. She was losing. I gotta get up again. Bring it into half. Half guard. Go to full, go to full, I'll be able to get up. She transitions to full guard. Use that. Oh, she got out of that. Full guard. She's now transitioned to full guard. I'm up. I'm up. We're good. Get some stamina back. She switches to southpaw. Tate counters with the left. Good job of avoiding the clinch. There's the late kick. I'm not doing so good so far. I mean, a little bit, but gotta work that body. Good shot. What a great job mixing things up. Damn. She's actually kind of fucked. Under three on the clock. Round one. Go with a single leg. Get a single. Grab the leg. Completes the takedown. Oh, wait a minute. I want to do posture. I want to do top mount. Oh, crap. She's working from full guard. I don't want side control. I want top mount. There you go. Top mount. She moves into full mount. Posture up. She moves to back control. Oh. Solid strike to the Oh, keep going. Tate's yeah, keep going. Yeah! Woo! Did I do the challenges? Tremendous TKO. Great stoppage by the referee. I think I did it. I managed to get the top mount. I took her down from the clinch. And I finished her Let's on the ground. The on that should be all three right Let's there. Take one more look at the end of the fight here. This is a vicious series of strikes. Ground and pound that lead up to the TKO. And here we see full back She wasn't moving. I wasn't letting her do it. Barrage of strikes. It's because my ground and pound is contest. really, really good. That's what and I worked let's see on. If we could get a better look at that from another angle. Damn. Bruce Bumper has the official decision. Misha Ladies Tate. I threw some razors in that cupcake. Two minutes, 41 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO. Razor. Razor, winner by TKO. Yeah, baby. Woo! Misha wasn't messing around, was she? Let's see, did I get it done? I, I didn't, hold on, it didn't show me, but. That will definitely put me over the edge. 2,000 experience points, longevity has been increased. Do we have a ways to go? So I did do it, awesome, I got all three challenges, fantastic. All right, so we managed to beat Misha Tate. I just jumped up to sixth place after that win. Look, Beth Korea's in there. Ronda Rousey, that'll be a crazy fight. Although, she's not very good on the ground from what I understand, from what I've seen before. So, we got to use that. And we got a lot of experience for that. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Favorite it as well. Let's try and get 500 likes on this sucker. Also, if you haven't yet, be sure to follow me on my social media. Those are down below in the description. I recommend you follow me there. It's a great way to get in touch with me and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. It's, it's, it's just a good idea, I promise. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, also, if you want to get yourself a shirt from or hoodie or whatever from my Spreadshirt shop, there's a link in there as well. So, go check that out if you'd like. Other than that, I'm going to split this video here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Take it easy. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. See you guys later. Who the man with the plan? Who? If you feel trouble, wild and wild, no need violent and hit you 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that stylist style, Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black, what up? Hood up, and I see them haters try to run with us, they don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like Darth Vader. Players, grab your respirators, night
invaders get lightsabered Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder Got that Glock and got them woofers, just press play, I'll keep it moving Who is Knox to you damn fools, keep it fresh like canned food There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill Yeah It was never, ever, a game I'm out